What made you uh, want to return, uh, first of all? I know we saw you briefly at Christmas, but obviously you're back for an August stint now. Um, well, um, I, I was asked um, a couple of times by the producers um, to come back, and it was um, it's lovely to be asked to, to do something that you love. And um, they asked me a couple of times over the summer, and I, and were around this Christmas story that um, we did, which was great fun. And then when I came back, it was it just felt kind of natural, um, and it was a, a lovely story for me. Uh, and they sort of offered. Sort of, they brought they brought up the, the the opportunity for you know the chance of doing it a little longer, and I was like, mm, I, it is a good job. Yes, that would be lovely. And so when we went from there, and so last time we saw him uh, around Christmas, he was a patient. He's now back as a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. What brings him back? Um, well, he's had quite a, 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 a eventful couple of years. He's been in Mexico working as a locum in various hospitals, um, um, and developing as a, as a doctor. He's actually been promoted, he's now a registrar. Um, he's still a heart uh, surgeon, um, but he also has had some difficulties along the way. He's, um, he lost his wife just before he left, um, partly why he left, um, and so he had a sort of psychological um, um, weight that he had to um, at least address, if not completely shed. Um, and he's come back, and he, and he also, developed a, a rare condition when he was in Mexico where, which needed to be operated on when he returned um, for this Christmas um, special. I was the miserable part of the Christmas special. <laughs> well, actually with a happy ending, um, all that sounded wrong, um, with a, 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 a nice ending and that being that he's returning to where he used to work with um, the prospects of um, um, going, you know, um, becoming a better doctor. Dr. Anton did always have quite a nice bedside manner, but do we see yeah. a changed man when he comes back? Um, yeah, he is different now. Um, I, I was quite keen when I when I sort of chatted it through with the um, with the producers, with um, Ollie and Simon who run the show, um, that that there is a progression in in in, in Oliver's story um, to make it interesting, um, and there definitely is. I mean, he is um, he's gone through a lot in the last couple of years, and it does show in how he, well, I guess where his bedside manner is the first is the first thing that you, you'll see tested. Um, and he is more abrupt now, and he's a little more clinical now. Um, having lost people that were, you know, his wife, his sister, um, in that hospital, he, he has a sort of certain um, uh, coldness now that sort of come in and sort of almost to protect himself uh, from from the pain that, that he has been exposed to. Um, and I think being matter of fact in front of a patient um, in, in Oliver's world is the most truthful, the most honest way that you can uh, approach someone. And sometimes it, it means not sugarcoating stuff. It means being quite, it does come over as abrupt and, and rude um, as well. Um, so yeah, I think, and it's, uh, it's been great to play because uh, at first I think the viewers, or well, who knows what they're going to think, they might absolutely hate me. But but uh, it feels like it, it it's come from somewhere. It's not just Oliver being mean. It's Oliver is hurt and and there is um, talking about myself in the third person is odd. Um, there is this um, there is this pain there, and I think it is motivated. So so what what might seem at first to be cold and and clinical and unpleasant and just hostile <laughs> sometimes. Um, is coming from from a real place that um, he's been he's been hurt he's he is in pain and and it's his way of, of moving through this process this bereavement process that affects everyone differently. Was it easy going back to get your sort of mouth around all the medical jargon and whatnot again? Uh, terrifying, yeah. And we do uh, we have some uh, some scenes I think in my first episode where I'm kind of walking around corners and down long passageways reciting all this uh, medical stuff. Um, and those are always the most fun to do, but they are seat of your pants kind of uh, filming things because there's only one take, so you can't mess it up. It's a bit, it's uh, yeah, it, it is nerve wracking, especially because we don't. I don't go around on a day to day basis, to, you know, giving FBC, UVs, LFTs, amylase, cross match of bloods and clotting and all that stuff. It just doesn't Very happen. Good. I don't go into Pret a Manger or wherever it is and sort of say that. So it is a, it, it's a different. Um, well, once you get your head around that, the, the words. Um, I think it's sort of everything else sort of comes back quite quite nicely.
nicely.